The journey begins on the aircraft carrier's flight deck, where the impressive J-15 fighters take off and land. The deck, equivalent to three football fields, is strategically divided for parking, takeoff, and landing. At the front is a ski jump marked with the number 17 for safe takeoffs. Alongside is the island, housing essential facilities like the command center and radar systems. Compared to its predecessor, the Liaoning, the Shandong smaller island allows for a larger flight deck, enhancing combat capabilities. The bridge, also known as the wheelhouse of the Shandong, is undeniably the most crucial area on the island. It serves as the command center, where the ship's direction and speed are meticulously controlled. The steering mechanism on an aircraft carrier is vastly different and requires the coordinated efforts of multiple individuals working in unison. If we take a closer look at the flight deck, we can spot numerous securing points strategically placed to ensure the safety of both the aircraft and other equipment on board. These points play a crucial role in preventing any unintended movement while the ship is in motion. To keep everything in place, a combination of sturdy chains and locks are stored beneath the deck within the hangar. When it comes to tying down the aircraft, these chains and locks are utilized to connect it securely to the designated securing point. This not only prevents any unnecessary shifting during turbulent weather conditions, but also ensures that the plane remains firmly in place, eliminating the risk of being swept overboard. Here we can also witness the defensive capabilities of the Shandong, including the Type 1130 close-in weapon system, short-range surface-to-air missiles, and decoy launchers for countermeasures like flares and chaff. Carrier style is a unique stance performed by ground crew on Chinese Navy carriers flight decks, with each carrier having its variation. It happens before fighter jet launches, but its exact purpose isn't clear. Below each fighter, there are two wheel stops to prevent premature takeoffs, standard in carrier operations. Flight control personnel lower the wheel stop when the flight deck is ready for takeoff, allowing the pilot to proceed. Before this, the ground crew checks for readiness. Importantly, this gesture isn't for the pilot due to visibility challenges. On the port side of the flight deck, there's a crucial feature known as the optical landing system, a standard feature on aircraft carriers worldwide. It provides vital guidance to pilots during landing, helping them gauge the aircraft's altitude and make adjustments as needed. The Shandong's angled flight deck is tailored for recovering fixed-wing fighters, featuring three landing arrestor cables at its end. These cables snag the tailhook of landing fighters, absorbing their residual force for safe operation. Regular inspections and maintenance ensure the reliability of these critical components. Below the flight deck lies the hangar, serving as storage for carrier fighters and a hub for maintenance tasks. This expansive area not only houses aircraft, but also accommodates crew assembly. It's commonly utilized for significant ship-wide events. Moving deeper into the ship, we encounter the emblem, representing Shandong's symbolic pride. Positioned against a backdrop depicting the Great Wall of China, it possibly signifies the PLA's defensive stance rather than aggression. The image of the Shandong in front of a world map hints at its mission to traverse vast distances globally, showcasing China's Blue Water Navy capability. Flanking the emblem are two olive branches, universally recognized symbols of peace. They convey the PLA's preference for peaceful resolutions over conflict, valuing tranquility. The four characters atop the emblem translate to loyalty, courage, strength, and victory, encapsulating the ship's ethos. On the Shandong, the morale of the crew is heavily influenced by the quality of food and drinks provided. Well, they're not your average cooks. These folks are highly skilled chefs, probably the kind you'd find in fancy restaurants. They've got the expertise to whip up delicious meals without any Gordon Ramsay-style drama. But it's not just about taste. The menu is carefully planned to ensure the crew gets the right mix of nutrition and calories. They focus on fiber and protein over fat, keeping everyone in top shape. And get this, they offer seven meals a day. Yep, you heard that right. 
This variety accommodates the crew's different schedules and dietary needs, making sure everyone gets what they need when they need it. And here's the clever part. Spreading out the meal times prevents long lines and keeps the kitchen running smoothly. After all, you don't want half the ship waiting in line for food at the same time. It's all about efficiency here. One standout dish aboard China's aircraft carriers is the carrier chili sauce, known for its robust flavor and reported nutritional value. It's a crew favorite, although some find it best enjoyed with rice due to its intense heat. Made from basic ingredients like beef mints, chili pepper, black beans, garlic, and chicken essence, it's especially popular among crew members on night shifts, as it helps stave off fatigue. On board, there's a convenient supermarket offering a variety of everyday items, personal hygiene products, and food at reasonable prices. While the crew gets their meals for free, they can purchase additional snacks or other items here if they wish. The Shandong features a library stocked with plenty of non-fiction books, offering crew members the chance to explore topics of interest during their downtime. For instance, there's a book titled The History of the War of Resistance Against America and Reinforcement of the Korean Peninsula, focusing on the Korean War. In their leisure time, sailors can also relax in recreational rooms, where they can indulge in activities like playing video games, watching TV, or connecting with loved ones on social media. While off-duty life is relatively independent, on-duty hours are characterized by social collaboration. On the ship, there's a cabinet stocked with items for sanitizing clothing and bedding in the laundry room. Strict guidelines are followed to reduce fire risks. This cabin provides sailors and aircrew with a clean and tidy space for rest after a busy day. Although the beds may be smaller than those in land-based barracks, they still offer ample space for the average sailor. Now, let's head to the ship's hospital. While it's not the place most people want to be, it's crucial for a ship housing thousands of individuals. The hospital in Shandong provides traditional Chinese medicine, with acupuncture being particularly popular among the crew. Surgery rooms are equipped with satellite video links for instant communication with expert opinions from large land-based hospitals, ensuring top-notch care. Surgeries on board primarily focus on saving lives and addressing serious injuries promptly. The hospital is well-stocked with medicines, including traditional Chinese remedies. Interestingly, the dental service is the most utilized, as everyone needs dental care regardless of age or health status, making dentists the busiest professionals on board. The Shandong is a massive ship, weighing around 70,000 tons, with extensive walkways and thousands of rooms and doors, making it easy to get lost or disoriented. Luckily, every crew member carries a small communication device, allowing them to communicate with others on board and pinpoint their location if needed. When crew members feel lost due to the ship's size, they can use their handheld devices to determine their whereabouts and navigate to their destination. Additionally, numerous recharging stations are on board to recharge the communication devices if they run out of power, ensuring continuous connectivity. However, it's advisable not to wander too far while the device is being recharged to avoid getting lost without communication. The Shandong aircraft carrier significantly advances China's Blue Water Navy ambitions. Together with its sister ship, the Liaoning, the Shandong is crucial for providing organic air support for the PLA Navy. While the importance of these stowbar carriers may diminish over time as China develops larger and more advanced carriers, they will remain valuable assets for the PLA Navy. The potential introduction of the J-35 carrier fighter, capable of taking off from a ski jump, would greatly enhance the Shandong's combat capabilities. On a smaller scale, individual sailors on the Shandong play essential roles in ensuring the ship functions effectively, akin to a small city relying on everyone to do their job proficiently. That's all for this video.